You fall through? See, you're hooked on the ice, you got a good one. That is a solid fish. Check out the belly on that, guys. What's going on, guys? Kevin Fox from Fox Fishing 4K. So today is Sunday, January 29th, and we are doing a kind of two species day. We're gonna start off the morning with whitefish, and then we're gonna move on to perch uh, around 10 or 11 in the morning. So uh, also, I found out the other day that Quinton has never caught a whitefish. So today's goal is to get Quinton hooked up on a whitefish or two, uh, teach him how to jig for these fish and catch one. So if you're out there like Quinton, you've never caught a whitefish, this is the video for you. Let's get going. Woo! Fig, you wanna come ice fishing? No, I don't think so. See you, girl. I swear, this is the year of no ice. Like there's just hardly any ice this year. Crazy. We're all loaded up, buddy. What's going on? Let's go. Hey, Kevin. Yo. They get large, smaller, medium. Oh, yeah, go be the best size. They got like some smaller ones too. <laughs> Probably smaller ones, maybe. Perfect. Oh. $11. <laughs> Everything's still good. Otter's still good. Let's go. So we just arrived at Tom's place. We're just getting the gear ready. Gonna head out for whitefish right now. Today is like whiteout conditions, man. It's coming down like crazy. Heavy snow, so let's see how she is out there. Let's go. See if you, can you see if you got an extra pair of gloves there, boss? <laughs> Fucking gloves. <laughs> I don't want my hands to be cold. I need to be comfortable out there, guys. <laughs> Plus, the ice is like half an inch thick, and I'm 479,000 pounds, so I'm probably gonna go through. Oh. That's not land, dude. That's just open water. There's nothing out there. You see that? That's a mirage, dude. <laughs> like, true. All right, now we got a couple K hike. Leave this here, just bring the necessities. Yeah, there's lots of ice here. Lots. Lots, yeah. <laughs> Do it one more time, Tom, right there. Like. Yeah, I'd call that seven inches. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely see the sled back there. <laughs> that flush? Water coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's cracking under my feet. This is the sketchy shit. Sketchy, sketchy. She's thin, dude. You'll see though, when we catch whitefish, you'll see them swimming under the ice. We can clear the ice off. It's so thin, you see them swimming, it's amazing. Yeah, so up here we can see the edge of the ice sheet. Right from here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but from here, all in front of Tom, all the way across, that's all, that's all open water. I can see the waves. So the problem with this is, as we get closer to that open water, our ice, we're losing height, or uh, we're losing thickness. It diminishes, so it'll go from two and a half to two and a quarter, finally two inches, inch three quarter, and it'll just keep going down to nothing until you fall through. So he's got to be stopping here shortly because we're probably, I don't even know, a couple hundred yards from open water. And I can see where he's starting to crack through the ice and water's coming up. You can see the slush. See the water in his footprint. So... Not good. Oh, 
I'm almost to a point where I'm gonna stop walking just tell Tom I'll fish here because uh, yeah we all have our limits I can oh fish my boundary yeah you fall through yeah yeah I'll switch I can pull the sleigh for a bit crazy pushing it to the limits. Yeah, there's the open water. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know if it's a white ear or a burbot. It's got the head shakes to it. But... Yeah, I don't think the head shakes don't make me think not a burbot. Yeah. Good white though. Oh. Jesus. Whitey. That's a big whitey, dude. That's a big whitey. That's a big whitey. That side's up, Whitey. Oh, that's a good Whitey there. Yeah, that's a good one. That big old rubber mouth. A little colorful. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Tom actually caught three. He released one real big one. And he's got two nice ones here. It's just the wind. Yeah. It's just I'm not liking the wind right now. All right, so the wind's kind of changed direction. We have an offshore wind now. Tom went and spotted out to the edge of the ice and then just came back. I threw the drone up. Uh, the ice isn't looking that great. If this wind picks up, then we take the chance of this kind of breaking up and us going sailing. So we don't, definitely don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is basically just go perching early. So Tom ended up smacking a few white fish. Um, we only marked the one bit of the school coming in. We didn't hit any. So I'm sure if we stayed out, we could get a couple. But with this wind and these ice conditions, it's just not worth it. So we're going to pack up, walk back to the sled uh, and set up for some perch. Stay tuned. Let's go. That fish has been on you the whole time, Quentin. Oh, that looks like you see you're hooked on the ice and you got a good one. He's got a good one. I watched the fish in the whole time. Move your slush away and you can slide him right up. Yeah, that's a good perch, dude. That's a good perch. Listen, just because I caught the biggest perch doesn't mean you gotta be me. I missed another one too, it pulled drag when I sat on him. I was just like, it was like, Ding -ding. Yeah. I don't know how big he was, but he was good. I'd say the afternoon's phenomenal, man. You're watching good. Look at that guy. I've seen that. I was, I was gonna wait, I was like, I don't know if he's gonna hit again, but. I'm gonna pop up. I gotta get the good camera out. There's one down there. Well, that's a, that's a nice mark. That's a good mark. That is a good mark. Just so. Holy crap, dude. It's on the Simcoe bug, check that out. I'm gonna size that frickin' thing. But that is a solid fish. Check out the belly on that, guys. Check that out. Beauty fish, love it. Let's go, let's get some more. Wow, that could be a jumbo, dude. No, it's not that bad. Were you hooked on the ice? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> False alarm. Still perched, it's about the size of my hand. <laughs> I 
That is a giant. It's the size of a small bass. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know, he's gotta be pushing. 14, I'm thinking. That's what we're using still. So, they definitely bite on this, 100%. The perch have been just crushing the Simcoe bug. Um, I haven't even been using minnows, like just the bug itself has been working. Absolutely incredible, so definitely check these out. I'm gonna throw on now an Abernathy slab grabber and see if that works just as good as the Simcoe bug. But 100%, um, yeah, this thing has been working absolutely incredible for perch. So I'm gonna take this off and throw on a slab grabber. So here's my little kit. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. Sci fly, Simcoe bug, and then I've got the other thing here, McGathy slab grabber. I've got a bunch of them in here. I open my little kit. Here shows a bunch of my little Simcoe bugs in here. And then on the other side, I have the Abernathy slab grabber. So today I'm going to do a little thinner profile with a chartreuse bead. We'll see. We're gonna use this guy with a chartreuse bead. Let's try that out and we'll see how that works. What's that? I didn't even get a bite there on the Simcoe. And that's Simcoe bug? Yeah. Like I go right to bottom, I stir it up a little bit, I bring it up a little bit, and then I just go like this, dude. Just do a little wiggle. And that's it. So yeah, guys, let's talk a little bit here about cadence. So yeah, you might be using the Simcoe Bug or you might be using the Abernathy Slab Grabber, but just because you have those lures on, they work great. The fish definitely want a certain type of cadence. So the way we're getting them to bite today is we're taking our line, we're dropping it all the way to bottom, stirring up the bottom a little bit, bringing the tip of our rod just up a hair, and just going little tiny wiggles like that and you know what when that school comes in you're just gonna feel that tip go boom little hit and wait and we're setting on them it's that easy guys you're not having to lift up you're not having to go down with six inches off bottom and just tap in the tip so get out there and get some perch Look at this there now squeeze that tail so yeah he's what 13 he's 12 12 and three quarters almost 13 yeah, he's under 13. He's still, thick, that's though. That's still a fat fucking fish. Yeah. Like, he's fat. Fish. Here, try one of these guys. See this guy? He's half the size of that one. But see what he is for length. What is he, like, 10 or 11 or something? Yeah, he's, like, 11 and 11 a half. and a half. So what's that one? That one's, like, 12 and 3 quarters. So that one's only, like, an inch longer. But look how fat it is. Yeah. That's a big... Mutant perch. Yeah, that's a, that's a mutant. Just fat, not that long. All right, guys, so we spent a couple hours on perching. We got a couple good ones. I think the biggest one there is probably around 14 or so. We got a few 13s and a couple 12s. So overall, it was a great day. We are out of here. Um, both the Simcoe bug and the slab grabber, they both, they both work equally as well. I, uh, I can say, Easily, I can see why those are staples for Simcoe. So if you're out, you're trying to get some perch, definitely try one of them. All right, guys, talk to you later. On to the next one. Bye-bye.